Good morning, T Chancy Cardinals, teachers and staff. It's time for the Cardinal Weekly News. It is the week of Halloween, Monday, October 28th. Welcome back. Welcome back, boys and girls. We are rolling in the fall, so we're starting to get that fall weather feeling. But we're going to have a good week this week with lots of sun and a little bit of rain on Thursday. But we've got 74 degrees Monday, 79 degrees Tuesday, Wednesday, 79 degrees. Thursday, it looks like we could have some rain, so raincoats and dress appropriately for that. 72 degrees, and then Friday, cooling down, so nice end of the week with some real fall temperature, 64 degrees as the high. So it's going to probably be pretty cold in the morning still, boys and girls. Um, it's fall, y'all. Yeah. All righty. Last week was Cardinals in costumes, boys and girls. And I think they say something like you showed up and showed out. You all came dressed to impress. You were super cute and fantastic at, at Cardinals in costumes. You played lots of games. You brought all your families. And it was such a good time. Hopefully you'll take home that book or you've already taken home the book everyone got, and you'll read it and tell us a little bit about it. But I, it was a great, another great event, and thank you all for showing up. It was lots of fun. All righty. There was, at Cardinals in Costumes, a storybook pumpkin contest, and first place is Allure Chisholm, who's a fifth grader. Second place is Izzy White. Is Izzy in second grade? Mm-hmm. So. Never mind, I'm thinking of another Izzy. Third yeah. grade is Alejandro and Nicolas uh, Sonza Pisa. Sorry, guys, if I said that incorrectly, but we had lots of great pumpkins. They were super cool and fun. You all did a great job with your families making your storybook pumpkins for this year's Cardinals and Costumes. Thank you. All yeah, right. And then this week, we also got to celebrate um, or have our first student council meeting. I call it like the induction. It was, the students got to come down, they got to meet one another, and they got their official certificate saying that they are now a member of the Chansey Elementary Student Council. Um, and then some discussion was had about how the year will look and some of the awesome things they're going to do this year for us. So way to go, guys, for being good citizens in your classroom and being nominated by your class. I look forward to seeing all the really good things that the student council gets to do for our school. So uh, more info will come out about that. But it was a nice time to see all of our student council members. All right, boys and girls, and then I'm going to remind you that every day when you walk into Chansey Elementary, you come in doing things the Chansey Cardinal way, and that means you are respectful, responsible, and safe. This week, I want us to focus on taking care of our school, um, and it sounds pretty self-explanatory when I say that, but boys and girls, taking care of our school not only means to come in and do the right thing when you're there, but it also means to help pick up trash if you see it on the floor keep our restrooms clean i can't tell you how many times paper towels or other objects have been thrown in our, our toilets and on the floor um and it's just not good for our school boys and girls it could cause some damage to the building so please make sure you're not doing that if you're using our restrooms you get in you get out um keeping your desks and lockers clean do not write on the furniture boys and girls i don't know if you remember but this furniture we just got i believe last year I think it was last year. Um, and already when I walk around in some classrooms, I see that the furniture is not being taken care of very well. Some of us are writing on our desks or um, leaning over in our chairs, writing on our chairs, just not taking care of it like we should. So I urge you, I implore you, I beg you to take care of the furniture and just all the materials that we have in our building. That will help it last for a very long time, and that will make it um, easier for everybody to use. So take care of our school. If you see trash on the floor or you see something that's dirty or needs to be cleaned up, do your part and help keep it clean. Ms. Brown, I can't remember if there's a leader in me connection to that, clean, like keep making sure that the building is nice and clean and things, but it was one of the things of like integrity. I don't remember, but I do, boys and girls, I want to remind you that it is that it is a leadership leadership skill. It's not just a chancy cardinal way, but it also goes with our leadership and our genius. I want to remind you also that the focus this month is habit number two, begin with the end in mind. Boys and girls, you're supposed to have a plan set goals for yourself ahead of time. Um, 
Be prepared at all times. Think about how the choices you make will impact your future and think about the positive or negative consequences for any actions that you may to act or you may have. And this may not, this may, you may be thinking like long-term future, but boys and girls, I'm really just talking about your yearly future. So for example, you just took the, or you took the map test back in August and maybe early September. What are your goals for the next map test? If you um, sometimes you struggle with keeping your hands and feet to yourself, that can be a very simple goal as well, that you just make sure that you have a certain number of points at the end of the week on dojo or that you are behaving the way you want to behave and that parents then get a very positive news phone call or something. But boys and girls, they're all there are all kinds of little goals that you can make or have for yourself. And then you can work towards those goals each week. So I'm curious to know what your goal is this week. And I'd love to see if you accomplished it or hear whether or not you accomplish it at the end of the week. So it's going to be a great week. Let's keep our goals in mind. All right, boys and girls. So we are still in our fundraiser event. Parents are donating. We've got the QR codes up and we're still taking in monies to do some cool things for our leader lounge um, here at the end of this week. Let's see. So students are earning prizes. Thursday at the end is going to be that readathon. So that's going to be an exciting event where we get to spend some time enjoying a book, reading, and just really uh, getting into reading as we fundraise for Chansey. All right, Chansey Cardinals. Don't ever forget how important you are. You are a leader and you will change the world. There is genius in each and every one of you. Have a great week, Chancey Cardinals, teachers and staff. Let's have a good week, everybody.